Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here in Dublin, that's Grafton Street right there. And it's not a great day, but I'm in an unbelievable mood because I've just announced my partnership with Dyson. I've used Dyson for years. So I'm actually going in now to meet a guy called Dylan Bradshaw, who is a really well-known hairdresser, and he's also an ambassador for Dyson. And I'm gonna go in and ask him about dyeing my hair blonde. So I've been thinking about doing it for a while, like nearly like silver blonde, but I always heard that people destroy their hair if they do that, so. They've invited me in to meet him, ambassadors meeting ambassadors, and it should be a lot of crack, so just here now, here on South William Street. Here, and Sam's washing my hair. <laughs> and Sam's actually just dyed his hair as well, give him a look, lad. Yeah, nice and silver. The silver brand. Turn this light off. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I'm going for, so he's giving me all the tips and the tricks. Here's my man Dylan now. Say hi Dylan to YouTube. How are you lads? <laughs> Gonna cut up my hair. He was slagging the last person that did it, did the last one. We won't say who it was. <laughs> no, he wasn't. But he's gonna make me look better, hopefully. Uh, God knows I need it. But he's advised me now to leave off dyeing the blonde until the summer when I have a bit of a tan, um, which I agree with. Uh, I can cut it out within like two cuts as well. So, look, um, if you're around Dublin, definitely book in to see Dylan. He's the master. So just leaving the salon here now, or barber? Would you call it a barber shop? I don't really know, but really, really happy with the chop. Looking fresh. It went a bit higher and tighter than I usually would but I really, really like it. It's a bit of a nicer day, it's gone a bit brighter, so I'll head into Grafton Street. I actually need a, need a new pair of shoes. Look at the state of those things. I've literally had those shoes for about two years, so. So I stopped in here to Hugo Boss, and I don't know if you've seen it, you probably have, because it's absolutely everywhere. The Hayley Bieber and Kendall Jenner and Anthony Joshua and all those people, and the new campaign they did for Hugo Boss. And this is the hoodie that they're all wearing here. It is a nice hoodie, black, Plane, which we usually go for. Let's see how much it is. 160 beans. <whistles> Hayley Bieber, you know I love you, but I just can't justify paying 160 quid for a black hoodie. Lads, these shoes cost 375 quid. Honestly, they look like they should be in the bottom of a fucking bin. That is mad that people pay nearly 400 quid for dirty shoes. Always just come back to your favorite store, Massimoduti. I'm actually wearing a Massimoduti jacket right now. Absolutely love this place, great value for money. So hopefully they have a few bits. I already found something. So I got this shirt and I know what you're saying. It's green, Greg, I'm not too sure about it. Do you know what? I'm not overly keen on the color myself, but the thing is, it's cause I'm doing so much presenting lately. I gotta have shirts. You can't just be going around in t-shirts and jumpers. So I need a bit of color and this isn't that bad. And it's slim fit, so hopefully it looks good. Let's try it on. Gee, it's actually pretty nice. It's a really nice fit. I went for the medium. It's down to 40 quid as well. Oh, it's time for Greg to get new shoes, I think. Like these. They're junior though. Juniors and women always have the nicest shoes. Look at them. I love that triple tick. Very cool. White high top, do you call them high top, medium top? With a red label on them. <laughs> but like my toes are all the way up here, so I don't know. So that went terribly. I picked out two lovely pair of shoes, one runners or trainers, whatever you say, and the one pair of casual shoes. And they didn't have either of my sizes. They <sighs> just wasn't meant to be, was it? So I'm just on my way to London now. I have an event tomorrow with Moss Bros. We're actually having like a breakfast and then a fitness workout. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm just boarding the plane now. So I've arrived in London. It's about half seven and I had a stressful last few hours. So long story short, the flight was delayed because as someone was being disruptive on the flight and they actually got arrested, which was funny to see. Um, I think it was something to do with not wearing their mask and like just wear your mask bro like why are you just making things awkward i actually haven't checked the room yet i ran straight in and just sat down at the chair so let's have a little room tour let's see what it's like it's pretty nice it's actually a five-star hotel which is kind of nice i'd like if this was beads and i'd like flick down that would be pretty cool here's the bed big ass double bed let's see what the view's like um not the greatest view i'm not gonna lie there's not much going on there but beggars can't be choosers look into someone's apartment over there hello that's kind of a vibe. Let's see if they have the plugs by the bed. Honestly, hotels that don't have plugs by the bed, get with it, bro. And it better be the normal plug. Yes, it's the normal plug. Come on, baby. What is that big red button about? I wonder what that does. I want to press it so badly. I'm pressing it. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm after setting off the alarm, I think. Oh no! Lads, I'm after setting off this alarm. I don't know what I'm after doing. This is really embarrassing. I figured it out. <laughs> so, so for some reason, the bathroom is a disabled bathroom in the disabled toilet. <sighs> now I can relax. That was going off for like 20 minutes. My head is wrecked and now I'm late to meet someone in town for a bit of dinner. Quick change. I actually got this uh, set off Moss Bros, funnily enough, and that's the brand I'm eating tomorrow. So I never really wear jewellery, right? But my mate just started a company called 99 Jewellery, and he sent me out this little, like, simplistic ring, and I double stacked them, and I really like the look of it. <laughs> Feeling awesome, um, really, really nice sleep. They have the like curtain opener thing. Watch this. Curtains closing. I'm just opening up again. How sick is that? It's gone eight o'clock and I have to be there for half nine. So let's go get some breakfast and get stuck into the day. I'm trying to do this thing that Wim Hof always teaches. It's about cold showers and breathing. And I've actually been doing it for a few weeks now where I have my hot shower and then at the end I'll do as cold as I can possibly do. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Let me show you the temperature. So that can't go any further towards the cold there. Look, that will obviously be hot. I turn it back to cold. I feel absolutely awesome. So awake, so fresh. Obviously it's not ideal being cold, but that goes away after a couple of seconds once you get out of the water and I am just ready to attack the day now. Come on. I had a lovely little breakfast there this morning in the hotel, feeling awesome. I'm just walking to the location now, it's about 10 minutes from the hotel and I didn't tell you about dinner last night so I went to a place called Sticks and Sushi in Soho and then after that I actually went for some wine and I'm not hungover at all today. I thought that was four drinks I had but I ate a lot of food and drank a lot of water around it um, and then I actually ordered some pizza and watched first dates last night. So, um, so funny that Fred was on the show that I was watching last night and now I'm going to meet him. Really cool place behind me there called the Hoxton in Shoreditch. If you're ever in Shoreditch, really cool place to go for drinks and kind of just nice little chill vibes. I should have mentioned that it's actually Fred's birthday today. It's his 50th birthday. Man, the guy looks good for 50. And we're doing a boxer size class. So at the moment there's loads of photos going on now and I've never done boxer size before. So probably gonna get shown up a bit, but it'll be a lot of crack. Workout all done. Man, look how sweaty I am. <laughs> oh, I was so bad at boxing. I just couldn't get the technique between the jab and the hook and oh, shocking. I'll have to do some more practice, but really, really good fun. I am actually drenched in sweat. <laughs> So we're finished the workout and we're suited and booted. They're after kicking us out in Fred's new Moss Bros collection. We got smoothies, we got hoodies. Fred's here in the back opening his presents. What an unreal event. I love that it's just fitness and wellness. Everyone's feeling awesome after working out. So it's Saturday morning and you know my app, Better With Greg? Well, I'm getting my mother to do a yoga class on it. She's honestly one of the best instructors I've ever come across. And I've done a lot of different yoga classes across the world. And genuinely, not just saying this because she's my mom, she's one of the best yoga instructors around. It's better with Greg's mom. And I'm really looking forward to it because last night I ran a 5K and I actually ran a PB. I did 19 minutes and 30 seconds, 34 seconds actually. I felt awesome doing it. And now afterwards, I have a lot of pain, a lot of doms. So I'm looking forward to the stretch with my mom. If you haven't checked out my app yet, it's called Better with Greg. Go on to betterwithgreg.com and subscribe. It's literally only a tenner a month and you get unlimited classes, you get unlimited wellness blogs. What's up, I'm here with my boy Harry. If you haven't followed him already, you better do it now. <laughs> We're going into drift flow therapy. It's supposed to be very relaxing, basically like a copious amount of salt and you just float on the top of it. So this is the big salt tub here. It's filled with warm water and like half a ton of Epsom salts. Let me open it up for you. Yeah, so this water is filled with half a ton of Epsom salts with just aids recovery basically it can increase recovery by like 10 or 15 percent and then 
There's so much salt in it that it makes you buoyant and you just flow on top of the water. And that kind of puts you into a mindset where you just completely relax, go into a different place, like close and nearly sleeping. Because you're floating, you're not gonna drown. And yeah, really, really relaxing. So I'm looking forward to this. You do it for like 60 minutes. Oh, wow, man, that was so relaxing. I actually fell asleep in the tub at one stage. Earplugs in so you can't hear anything. It goes dark so you can't see anything. And you're literally just floating there on like on a cloud for an hour. I'm unbelievably relaxed. If you're in Dublin or in Ireland, come here to Drift Flow Therapy in Slorgan, but I think they have these all over the world. Really, really good way to unwind and relax and just get away from the world. So I'm on my way now down towards Balls Bridge to do some work for the BBC, which is honestly like dream work for me. Doing broadcasting presenting for the BBC for rugby. Like what more could I want? Let me show you Berkey's new car. I'm not a petrol head, but this is supposedly a absolutely vintage, beautiful car. Yes. <laughs> Second round of the Six Nations. Obviously now the France and Ireland game is on in Paris and Stade de France. Pretty big game for Ireland. Let's see what everyone thinks it's like. So I'm here in a place called Toka Tapioca House in Temple Bar in Dublin. Lovely little spot right in the middle of Temple Bar. So where I can, I'm going to start showing you guys where I go and how good the coffee is and then you can try it whenever you're in the places that I am. So. Look at that. That is insane. It's like a dragon or something. Oh my god, that is really, really good. So to mark it out of 10, <laughs> landing hour is really good. Temperature was really good, presentation was really good, staff were lovely, texture was lovely, really smooth, lovely taste to it. So, oh god, I can't really knock it on anything. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, just because I can't give it 10 straight off the bat, but honestly, really, really good coffee. Obviously, I have to treat myself to a little dessert as well. But this is incredible, oh my god. That was a lovely little coffee morning there by myself. So if you're in Dublin around the Temple Bar area, head to Toga Tapioca House. Nine out of 10 coffee, really, really enjoyed it. And now I'm just on my way to work, so to do house rugby, and we're doing the Six Nations, so that's always fun. There's always a really good buzz around the Six Nations, and John Hayes is in today, so if you're a rugby fan, you know exactly who John Hayes is. The Bull, he's a legend in rugby. Um, so I'm really looking forward to meeting him and just chatting all about Six Nations. So that's the end of this vlog. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.